Scorpios. Hey, yo, Scorpios. Hey, yo, Scorpios. Welcome to your general love reading, babies, for September 10th of 2023. How y'all doing? You feeling good? You enjoying your weekend? Yeah? Did you eat something good today? You got something good for dinner tonight? I hope you do. Let me know in the comments what y'all having for dinner, Scorps, because you know I'm greedy. I like to know. But what's going on with your love life? That's what I want to know. That's what we're here for, right? Welcome to Miss Hawaii Tarot if it's your first time here. But if you're coming back, you know it's morphing time, baby. All right? Pterodacto. Saber two tiger. Go. Don't look at me like that, Scorps. Self-love. Oh, I like that. You start the reading strong. Some of y'all be masturbating a lot, but it's okay. <laughs> Some of y'all love to masturbate. It's okay, especially if you're not like hot out there in the streets, because you got to get your fix some way. <laughs> I mean, you are a Scorpio. You do rule the sexual organs, so a lot of us be honing 24-7, 365, be spontaneous. Some of y'all really... <laughs> I just got some freaky stuff with that. I don't know why, because we talking about masturbation. And then we talking about being spontaneous. You are free. <laughs> then you got past love here. <laughs> Somebody from the past is thinking about you. <laughs> is that funny? What's this card? Short-term connection. Uh-uh. Somebody trying to hit it. Nah, boy, you you work more than that. Fantasy versus reality. Somebody fantasizing about you. Oh, God. Give it time. Somebody waiting to hit you up, which just popped out. Options, flirt, play, and someone new. Ooh, let me find out. Let me put this back, but some of y'all got somebody new. Let me get one more card for my Scorps. Yeah, baby. Scorpio time. Love is a verb, but it is safe for you to fall on the bottom. Yeah, some of y'all Scorpios don't feel safe to fall until somebody show you their actions. You know, they show you with their actions. I don't blame you. Hello? What's this be spontaneous? Somebody about want to do something spontaneous with you? Excuse me. Be the change and don't give up. It's somebody that don't want to give up on you here. They figure if they do something spontaneous, you'll change or something. What they about to do? Cause, <laughs> well, who's the past love? Somebody's name is Hilda. Free yourself. <laughs> Somebody you freed yourself from. But this past person, they still feel like you are their true love. Mm. Scorpio like, oh, you talking about Johnny? Let me see the short-term connection here. Who is this person? Ooh, that came out. Hot and heavy. Hit the flow. Options. You got options. You got a lot of people that want you, but there's one specific person. They want you, but not long-term. Uh-uh. Somebody born on the first. And somebody's name could be Farrah. Soulmate. There's somebody who's fantasizing about you with family. Mm -mm. This person might be in a whole relationship. And they fantasize about being with you. They feel like you're their soulmate. Mm -mm. They do. Come on, Sage. Don't start. I don't want to see that. Let me see the give it time. <laughs> Bad timing. Mm. Somebody want to come towards you, but they're waiting because they feel like if they came towards you right now, the timing is off for some reason. I don't know. And others of you, if it's not a specific person, some of you, Scorps, you need to kind of like, some of y'all, you may not, it might not be time for you to have a relationship or have something serious right now. Hey, mama. I mean, I know some of you don't want to hear that, but that's what I'm getting for some of you. Then you got true love on top of love as a verb. Yeah, man, people got to show you, but some of you Scorpios let go of control is on the bottom. Some of y'all a little bit controlling in love. Don't look at me like that. You know I'm going to tell you the truth now. Scorp, I love you. On the beach in Hawaii. That's my song. All right, let's see. Let me read like the sage. 
Make sure y'all hit the like button, Scorpio, if this is resonating, if you liking the reading. Yeah, don't just be looking at me being no window shoppers. You mad at me? I don't know why. Make sure you hit that like button. Show your girl some love. Subscribe, comment, share. What you doing, mama? I love how she starts getting like so active when I start to read. She'll be sleeping, chilling. I'm talking about my cat, Kaylee. She'll be in the bed. And then once I start doing my read, it's like an energizer like for her. She jumps up. She's like, let me start getting into stuff. Like she feel it. Home, somebody got property or somebody working on getting property. That's what's up. Some of y'all Scorpios love being home. You got soulmate here again from a whole nother deck. So you definitely dealing with a soulmate, twin flame, soul contract, soul connection, past lives. There's that word again, change. Some of you Scorpios, you, you're changing in a good way. Regeneration, growth, metamorphosis, cycles, yeah. Unfinished business, mm -mm. with third party. I told you somebody in a whole relationship, I mean, that's not for all of you, or they got family with somebody, but this person be fantasized about being with you. Mm. Jerry, Jerry. Faded meeting. Somebody you met, it was faded. You think, oh yeah, I don't get why I met Ricky. Date came out here. Somebody gonna ask you on a date with the grass is greener on the bottom. Mm. Somebody could have thought the grass was greener, chose somebody else over you or something else over you, and now they, <laughs> like I said on live, the, the grass is shitty. What's the soulmate card? A lot of you were trying to manifest the soulmate. Ghosted. What the fuck? With magnetic attraction? Somebody feel like you ghosted them? <laughs> you disappeared on them, but this person still feel like you their soulmate? They feel rejected by you? What happened? Scorpio was like, uh... Some of y'all work from home. Who want to take you on a date? Text message. Somebody you texting, it says communication, news, phone call, direct message. Somebody you talking to, they courting you, they want to meet up. Mm. What about the person that feels like y'all have unfinished business? Divine intervention with ex-lover. I cannot make this up. It's an ex. Memories, the past, old flame, nostalgic. With divine intervention. Mm. The divine played a part here between you and this person. It's an ex-lover, and they don't want to let you go. Or what's a what a surprise? What's the change card? Wedding. Mm. Some of y'all knew you had to make some changes within because you want to be married, or you want to be in a serious relationship. And some of you Scorpios realized you had to do some changes within yourself. Okay, that's what's up. Everybody don't do that. They always pointing the finger at everybody else. Uh uh, it ain't me. Need to change a little bit, sis, bro, whatever. What's the home card? <laughs> some of y'all Scorpios like being at home. Legal matters and breakup. Oh, some of y'all, since you broke up with somebody or you separated, some of y'all even divorced, you be at home a lot. Y'all like being at home? <laughs> okay. If you got some type of court case going on, I see it working out in your favor. Some of y'all, somebody you broke up with is going to pop up at your house. Oh, my God. Scorpio, like, they better not. Because that's one of the worst things you could do to Scorpio. <laughs> we don't like that unless we like you like that. Then we like that. But we don't like you like that. And you popping up on somebody's house, your ass better pop the hell on. The hell you talking about? Pop your ass, your ass, and get popped. Playing games. Right, Scorp? <laughs> If y'all want a personal reading, email missfulbyreadings at gmail.com. All right. Thank you for your patience. Give my assistant some time to respond to you. All right. You don't got to send the same email five times in a day. We got your email. Just give them some time. Okay. We're going to respond to you. All right. Somebody kept forwarding the same email. I'm like, sis, we got your email. Like... You just got to give us some time. Temperance. Be patient. Okay? 
Shout out to all my members. Yes, I'm doing a members read tonight, finally. Thank y'all for your patience. Your girl was exhausted. Got backed up with readings, backed up with everything. I'm here. So y'all got that coming tonight. Patreoners, y'all got a Patreon reading coming soon, a video coming soon. All right, and Instagram and TikTok is Miss Hawaii Tarot. Thank you to everybody that be showing love on there too. I be seeing y'all comments and stuff. Y'all cute. All my Scorpios, yeah, we come hard. The Scorpio support, we support wholeheartedly. We not halfway in like some of these people. One foot in, one foot out, you half-ass supporter. No, Scorpio go all the way. We all nothing, but but boom. Now, what's going on in your love life? What's the energy around you? How does this person feel? Hey, mama. How's this person feel? I came in last night. She was sitting in this chair. I cracked up. She sat in this chair. She was waiting on me in this chair when I came in. I said, Lord, <laughs> that was so cute. You like the power chair, mama? Now she playing with her toy. The high priestess in reverse. The magician, somebody trying to manifest you. Hey, oh, hey, a hip hop. Oh my God, the hierophant. You got three majors already. What popped out? The death in reverse. I'm sorry, four. Hey, everyone falls in love. Some of y'all dealing with a Gemini, a Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, or even another Scorpio. Wow, you got some big stuff going on in your love life. Heavy energy somebody pulling towards you. It's somebody here clearly who can't let you go. Somebody who is married and a relationship here wants you. Somebody's trying to manifest you. I don't know what that high priestess in reverse is yet. I gotta clarify. Nine of swords in reverse. I don't know about you. Temperance in reverse. Oh, somebody's stressed out over you. King of Wands in reverse. Who is this mad over you with the Ten of Wands? <laughs> somebody's struggling with their feelings for you right now. Uh-uh. King of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Who the hell are all these people? The Knight of Swords. What the hell? What the fuck? Two of Swords in reverse. Eight of Cups in reverse. Okay. I used to work with this lady, she used to say that. Whenever somebody say something stupid or do something crazy, she'd be like, okay. <laughs> that she used to have me on the floor. Hey, come on, everyone falls. Boop, boop, boop. I am just so feeling this radio station, Scorp. I love y'all too. All right, what deck I'm gonna use to clarify? Oh, we use this one right here, big ball of shot Paula. Boop! You already know what it is. Don't look at me like that. Fix my little crooked table. There's a fire sign pissed at you. Why is this person so mad? Mm -hmm. We gonna see. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody is struggling when it comes to their feelings for you. Like, it's so hard for them. They feel like it's difficult having feelings for you. Okay. Uh, let me clarify before I start talking my heat. There's definitely somebody who's stressed out over you. Don't, don't. Don't, don't. Let me see the high priestess in reverse. There's a lot of major arcana cards here. This person is... uh. Let's see, what is this high priestess in reverse? In love sometimes. The lovers in reverse. Okay, so it's an X. <laughs> All right, we're starting with that. Beep, beep. Who got that key to the G? With the Ten of Wands again. <laughs> there is an X of yours or a past lover of yours with the Six of Cups that is fucked up over you. They can't move on. They stress out because they still got feelings for you. Some of you, somebody got in this person's head and that's why y'all split up in the first place or why y'all broke up because they allow somebody to get in their head about you. Instead of listening to their own intuition, they didn't do that. They want to listen to stupid ass Paul with his stupid ass. 
his crooked ass teeth. Talking all that stuff. Six of Wands. Mm. This person could be like in the public eye or something, a famous with the tower in reverse. Scorpio energy. Or popular, whoever they are. They still got a lot of feelings for you. They let somebody get in their head about you. What is the magician? Who is the person trying to like manifest you here? This person pulling big energy. They could be into the metaphysical. Not a mom. Hey! You know I be lit in the party, Scorp. You already know. What's the magician? The hermit. Yep, somebody trying to pull your ass. The king of wands again in reverse. This could be a... Who is this person? The hermit and the nine of wands. It's somebody that feel like you got your guard up. That you are at a distance with the hermit. Virgo energy there. Three of Wands in reverse, the Nine of Swords. So this person is stressed, like I said, with the Two of Swords over you and they're trying to manifest you to come their way. Okay, they might be actually like watching tarot, doing tarot, going to like readers, maybe trying to do some type of manifestation work. <laughs> Can I get one more card on this person? They weird. The justice with the emperor. Oh my God. Some of y'all is an Aries or a Libra. <laughs> well, how, whatever type of stress they're going through, they deserve it, the universe said. <laughs> the justice. Okay. What's the hierophant? Who is this person in a whole relationship coming through? The ace of wands. They masturbate to you all the time while they with this person. The star. This person's wish is to leave this person and come to you. But what's their problem? Why can't they just do it? Fuck a wish. If you want happy, leave. A lot of people stay in situations where they're not happy. This could be an Aquarius. Can I know more about this person? They might even be married or dealing with somebody who only wants them for their money or just for money reasons. The death. You see? Scorpio energy. Oh, let me find out they're going to end this marriage or this commitment. They're not even turned on by this person. Damn, could be a lot of arguments. I don't even think they're faithful to this person. With the death card here, that's more Scorpio energy. Like you transform this person. You got this person wanting to end things, but look, the eight of cups is in reverse. So they haven't walked away from this person yet, but they, they, they can't walk away from you either. What's the death in reverse? Who is this person that can't get over you, can't let you go? The Empress. <laughs> well, damn. The Ace of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Ooh. This person think you are all that, a bag of chips and some soda. <laughs> With the Empress and the Ace of Swords, something about the way you talk, the way you communicate, this person think it's sexy. They think you intelligent, but you also got the looks to go with it, right? Because a lot of people could be attractive, but you have the you have the smarts. Most people don't. This person is like really into you. Who is this though? The Queen of Pentacles. Could be a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn. King of Cups in reverse. Mm -mm. There's that High Priestess again in reverse. This person feel like you don't you possibly don't have no more feelings for them. Mm. What is this nine of swords in reverse for? Eight of wands. Somebody about to message you that's been holding back out of fear. Yeah, somebody about to hit you up. This person been scared or been fearful in regards to you. Or they've been nervous or something. I don't know. Or it's just taking this person slower than molasses out of the crack of my ass to yours. But I see that that's done. With the chariot and the eight of wands, that's fast moving energy. So somebody about to come towards you that couldn't do it before because they were scared. Or they had fear. Or can I know more about this person? Somebody could be born on the eighth. 
the 14, we got the six here, the queen of wands in reverse with the six of cups. Mm, this person could have had somebody from the past they were trying to get rid of for a few of you and that could have been what it, what it was with the hold up, see the devil with the fool. Yeah, this person could have had to let go of somebody or got somebody crazy as hell out of their life, Capricorn energy here, before they could start something with you, with the fool. But you're gonna hear from this person and things are gonna start moving, 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 moving. What's this temperance in reverse? Who is this person that's stressed out over you? The page of wands in reverse. Somebody acting like a kid. Look, page of wands. Oh, you got two people stressed out over you. It's two pages here. Could be people younger than you. A fire sign and a water sign. The fire sign is just immature and bratty. They thought you was gonna blow them up and stalk them or sweat them. And then the water sign just is in their feelings about you. And both of them are stressed out because they feel like you ain't putting in no effort towards this. You ain't doing nothing. Mm. Show me about that fire sign. The fool, Aries energy. Mm. It's somebody that wants to be in a relationship with you. This fire sign. What about the water sign? Why am I seeing yellow boots? Somebody's name could be Peter too. Two of Wands. Yeah. They both they both feeling you, but they not like both of them feel like you ain't. All right. Now who is this fire sign person that's mad at you? Possible fire sign person. Six of Pentacles. <laughs> The world. Oh, they mad because it's over. The Knight of Cups. And because they're in love with you. Okay. And because they fucking, what the hell? This person crazy. <laughs> Judgment in reverse. So they mad because you wouldn't deal with them again. They want you to get to this, but you're not. The cycle been closed out between you and this person. And they still in their feelings over you. Whoever it is with the King of Pentacles. Oh, and they see you getting money. They tight. Some of you, they see you giving your energy to somebody else. They tight. Show me more about this person. They could be another water sign. Don't have to be a fire. Yeah, eight of pentacles in reverse with the five of wands in reverse. Again, they feel like you're not doing nothing towards this. You're not, you're not putting in no type of effort towards this. And they mad because it's like you drama free with the five of wands in reverse. You're just doing your own thing. Why this person so angry? And what's this 10 of wands here on the bottom? Somebody could be born on the 10th, seven of cups. Somebody is stressed out because they feel like you got options. They don't want you to have options. They want you to just focus on them and, and give to them, give to this, whoever this is. Who is this person? <laughs> Your readers be off the chain. Could be somebody that feels rejected by you with the ace of cups in reverse. And the Seven of Pentacles again with the King of Pentacles. Ooh. Some of y'all don't know why I'm getting this. I got this randomly score. Some of y'all, this could be somebody who got like a lot of money. And I guess they used to people just like really flocking to them for that. Because they got money, they doing well, they stable. I've seen something about gold. So maybe somebody wears a lot of gold or they into gold. Something about them, you can kind of see that this person is doing well for a lot of you. So this person, they're not used to Scorpio who just be like doing their own thing. Like, But this person think you got options and that stresses them out. They don't want you to have options. They feel like it's hard work to get you. Okay. <laughs> as it should be. Right, score? So this is going to be easy, nigga? <laughs> Let's see. Let's go into the extended now, Scorpio. I want to see what you can expect in the future in love. What you can expect in the future in love. You know, one time I burped and somebody, it wasn't even a loud burp. Like, I can't help it sometimes, especially if I drink before the readings. Somebody left me a comment, Scorpio was like, it's not ladylike to do that. I cannot believe that you belched on camera for something, something, something. Block. <laughs> you a loser. Like, hey, da -da 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 plug walk. Oh, go Scorpio. Walk. <laughs> oh. 
Ooh, my song. You can come up with a plug ball. Hey. 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 I was up dropping early in the morning. Ooh, on the web like a do rat. Oh. Plug ball. <laughs> oh, God. All right. I love you, Scorp. See, you got a little bit of a dance at the end there. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the extended. We'll pull tarot. We'll pull some cosmic insights. We'll look at the Amira love messages, see what's coming towards you in the future. And then we'll get you some advice, Scorp. We'll get you some advice, baby. I love y'all. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the extended. If not, I'll see you next time, Scorpios. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have a blessed week. Keep your head up. It's morphing time, baby, all day, every day. Keep a smile on your face. Keep your vibrations high. Burn your sage. Eat your fruits and your vegetables and your snacks and drink your water. And don't forget to exfoliate your beautiful scorpion skin. I'll see y'all next time, Scorps. <laughs>